today we explore Strasbourg, a beautiful city that exudes fairy tale charm. And of course, we show you some cool spots to eat. Remember to tap the like button and let's get this adventure started. Hello darlings! When we visited Strasbourg back in November, we went for the Christmas markets. But we ended up falling even more in love with the city itself. So how did we get to Strasbourg? We took the train from Paris and headed all the way east to the Alsace region. After a scenic two-hour ride, we arrive at the Strasbourg station. From there, we take the tram into the city's historic center. Two rivers run through Strasbourg, creating scenic views of canals and charming bridges. This is beautiful! Already loving it! Strasbourg is the capital of the Alsace region and borders Germany. For centuries, this city swung back and forth between France and Germany. As a result, the culture here is a unique fusion of both countries' traditions. We check into our accommodation, which is inside an 18th century building. Our Airbnb host welcomes us and gives recommendations. So this is more for French food? Yeah. And Alsace? Alsace, yeah. Okay. Shortly after, we explore some Christmas markets around the Notre Dame Cathedral of Strasbourg. Next to the cathedral is Maison Camarcel, which is said to be the oldest house in Strasbourg. Its foundation was laid in the late Gothic period, specifically the year 1427. The exterior has decorations that are both secular and sacred, while the stained glass windows are made of bottoms of glass bottles. Today, the house functions as a hotel and restaurant. Actually, our Airbnb host recommended it, so that's where we shall dine. All right, so we didn't make a reservation. They told us to go to the second floor. A company of bread and pretzels await at each table. Gotta order some choucroute. It's a traditional dish in the Alsace region made of sauerkraut and different types of meat. The one we're trying tonight has ham hocks. Yum, that is good. Wow, well, that's soft. You get a lot of skin in that. It's quite thick. Collagen. <laughs> this is huge. Am I going to be able to finish this? Not too salty either. Potato. And then on the bottom, there's sauerkraut. Typically, I have sauerkraut cold right out of the fridge, but this one is warm. Hot, actually. See, once you have it with the meat, the meat by itself tastes lonely. So you gotta have it with the sauerkraut. Mamio ordered the salmon cutlet with green lentils and haddock. I'm gonna try Mamio's salmon. Wonderful flavor. Just try Mamio's lentils. That one is so tasty. I like that lentil even more than my dish. Mamio says the meat is salty for her, but for me, it's the perfect amount of salt. If you happen to find this dish salty, you have potatoes to balance it all out. The potatoes are not seasoned. That was so <laughs> filling! So Mommy O and I, our dishes were about the same price, maybe like 50 cent difference, and yet mine could feed two of me. We walk on cobbled streets while heading back to the accommodation. Ah, even at night, this city is so charming. The next day is a Monday, and when you're traveling, Mondays can be just as exciting as the weekend. Breakfast takes us to the Cotonou district. In short, this neighborhood was once the fishermen's quarter. Today, it's home to a large student population as it's near the university. There are also quite a few food and drink options around here, including a place called Glas. The name Glas refers to the color of the sea in Brittany. Glas is a blend of blue, green, and gray. Cheers! Freshly made apple juice. Just made. And I like how it's not too sweet. All the pastries are made here. They also try to make everything homemade as possible. We got a dish called Le Salty, comprised of a brioche bagel with avocado cream, two fried eggs, and grilled English bacon. If I lived in Strasbourg, this is a place I'd come again, for sure. We also got Le Frenchy, a dish with a quarter baguette, pastry, butter, and two types of jam. Light and fluffy, and of course, crispy outside. 
My mommy was gonna have that bread with elderberry jam. I already tried the elderberry jam, it's yeah. so nice. Mommy ordered the longo and I got the espresso. Mama cup, baby cup. <laughs> Your smile says it all. <laughs> espresso number two. I consulted my eyes how much more caffeine I need. When we left the Airbnb, my eyes are like this open. Now it's this open. And now after this second espresso, it's gonna be fully open. <laughs> <laughs> we got two pieces of brownie. Mm -hmm. <gasps> that's so, that's so soft. Wait, I think that's like the softest brownie I've ever had. Yeah, it's like ice cream, but not cold. <laughs> That's how soft it is. Strasbourg is home to a variety of historical architecture. For example, the cathedral is a masterpiece of Gothic art, and the half-timbered houses date back to the Middle Ages. What about the colors of the medieval houses? In the past, the colors represented the type of shop that was in the building. For instance, Yellow was for bread trades, like bakers and pastry chefs. The buildings are still colorful today, but no longer have any specific meaning. So if you're craving croissant or other baked goods, don't be too hasty and run over to the yellow building. Wandering around La Petite France, visitors might imagine how romantic it must have been to live here centuries ago. But long before it was a tourist destination, this area had mills, slaughterhouses, and tanneries. Turns out, La Petite France was named after a hospice built here in the 15th century to treat soldiers who contracted syphilis from the wars. Fast forward to present day, people flock in for the Christmas markets, Alsatian restaurants, gift shops, and the beautiful architecture. At first, I thought it was part of the architecture, but those are actually birds all lined on the rooftop. This might look like pizza, but it's actually tarte flambe, a regional specialty which also goes by the name flamquiche. Tarte flambe is a thin flat bread in the shape of an oval or rectangle. It is thin like crackers. The traditional version is topped with cream, onion, and bacon. This restaurant serves 15 types of tarte flambe. Mm. It's quite salty because of the bacon. All right, try mommy O's. Oh, this one has fig on it. I prefer yours. Yours is like perfectly salty. The crust is hollow. We didn't eat in a vegetable today, so the salad has uh, arugula and spinach. It's very simple and very needed. It's a light dressing. Uh, what's mommy doing here? <laughs> she is, uh, I guess she's making a new type of flambe. And she's rolling it. I'm going to do that for mine too because mine's saltier. Alright, let's do this. Some people will find the traditional one to be a perfect amount of salt. For me, personally, it is a little salty. So then, adding that salad helps balance things out. Bonjour! It's our last day in Strasbourg. We are going to take a train around 11.50. And this morning, we're going to go to another cafe, get our last croissant in France, and then head over to Germany. Oh, the options this cafe offers. Just wow. The puff pastry sandwich looks amazing. So many lines, it's mesmerizing. The chocolate croissant has satisfying stripes. Mommy O got a set of three bite-sized desserts. Oh, this is very sticky. That one is such a joy to eat. That's the croissant I've been looking for in France. It's a big strip. <laughs> oh, so crunchy. So you know on the ends, there's something oozing out. I was thinking this is the entire filling up here, but in the inside, um, there's chocolate, and that one feels a little bit more firm. Um, 
I got two shots of espresso. Here are some final glimpses of Strasbourg before we take the train to Germany. Specifically, we head to Cologne, or as the locals say, Köln. They've got some great Christmas markets there. To watch our Christmas market tours, I put the video links in the description box. There's also a playlist with all our Europe travel videos. And here's a photo of Strasbourg in the warmer months when the flowers bloom. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Toodles, my noodles. <laughs> yeah, look at those trees. They're so long. There's holes so that people could walk under them. We just saw a stork in the distance and now a swan. The branches are touching the water. Ducks. Diagonal from the station is this uh, cafe. Hope you enjoyed this video and got some ideas on what to do in Strasbourg. For the full 12 minutes of outtakes and bonus footage, join our Patreon for extra content and to support our channel. We'll see you in the next video. As you might already know, in my pockets of free time, I love to paint and make things by hand. For the past few weeks, I've been painting a month of moods, where 30 boxes on a canvas represent 30 days of thoughts and emotions. For more creative updates, follow my arts and crafts Instagram at creative chillout.